Hi school counselors, I'm so glad that you're here today. Today we're going to go to part five of your school counselor interview and some possible questions. It is very important that you take into consideration they're going to ask you about some possible scenarios. Usually what the school does is that they debrief before the meeting and they decide what type of questions they may ask, what type of problems they have in their school, rather if it's for elementary, middle school, and high school. You all know that we all play different roles depending of the grade level and the age of the students, depending on the campus needs. So try to think ahead what are possible problems for so take in consideration what are possible problems that they may have, some of the possible questions that you may encounter during your interview. Okay, so let's dive in in the questions. The first one is like, what would you do if? So think about possible scenarios. One of your students tells you she's pregnant. And usually we see this more in middle school and high school, but it could happen in elementary. You never know, um, especially with all the different situations that are happening in the families and the negative, obviously, situations are happening in this world. You can have one of those students uh, suffering or, or going through that same situation. You suspect one of your students is being abused. That one applies for every single grade level. One of your students talks, oh, what about being abused? Don't forget about all the steps that you, and the action steps you need to take in order to take care of that situation. One of your students talks to you about wanting to kill himself or herself. That's going to be a crisis don't forget all the crisis protocol that you need to do all the interview contacting the families and all the things that we talk in previous videos when a student here. says a teacher doesn't like him and he requests a teacher change that happens very often or you can have the scenario that the parents are calling to request that change um, how would you handle the situation? Irate parents, uninvolved parents are part of the scenarios as too. That one is in a different video. I'm going to put it over here in the description. Part one, part two, part three, and part four. And this is going to be part five. Um, a parent asks you to switch their child's teacher. You know that administrators will make that call and you will give your input. A student asks to be in the same lunch period as their friend. You suspect that one of your students is abusing drugs and alcohol, and we know these days, unfortunately, people is getting more creative in the negative way, and students even can carry a pen, and it may have on top, they it may have drug on it, and so many things. The situation that we have with the candies, with drugs in it, it's it's so many different things, and it changed so much since we were little, and how creative in the negative way this is getting and students are getting more involved in this type of situations. One of your students admits to being sexually active. What would you do? A student tells you that he or she is gay or lesbian. One of your students' parents terminally ill. Um, another one that is not in there in, is like grief questions. What would you do if a parent dies due to COVID or any other type of illness? It could be cancer. It could be that someone shot the whole family or someone shot the student and all the type of things. Um, your student does not get his or her top college choice. This will be more accurate for high school. The other ones apply for any grade level. One of your students wants to drop out school. One of your one of your seniors is not going to graduate. What would you do if, and that's a common, common, common one in high school or even across all grade levels like passing to the next grade level and or being retained, which we need to make other decisions. And how do you handle the parents? How do you handle it as, as administrators? How do you handle the teacher's request? And they can you can close all those gaps. Um, ask a I'm oh, sorry, a parent asked to meet with you at 5 p.m. because this is the only time she or he can get up from work. That's very common too. Um, you see students or parents in town, or one of your students continues to fail math or any subject. Each quarter, what are the action steps? What you should do as a counselor? Who do you contact? Um, other than the parents, administrators, the students, and all that type of process needs to be in place. You have a faculty member child in your case load. <laughs> I think this always happens to all of us. And then what would you do? And how do you handle the situation professionally? And how do you separate the roles? Hey, right now I'm the counselor. I'm not your friend. I'm more about you. And how do you handle the situation with the parents um, too? 
Um, another situation could be about low income students, family members dying, like grief and loss, aggressive behavior, um, students that are maybe not diagnosed yet, and how do you handle that referral process? Another ones could be about RTI and what would you do if a student is failing, is not being identified, or what would you do if a student is failing and it's sped and it's 504 and it has these conditions. So there's tons of different scenarios. Be prepared for the most accurate for the grade level. Most of these ones apply for all grade levels. Don't get confused. Even though I work in elementary, that doesn't mean that I haven't seen all these things above. People will be like, what, in elementary? Yes, we can see any type of situations. Also, depending on where you work, I got the privilege to work in different districts. So every experience is different so let me know your questions don't forget that this saturday at 3 p.m central time i'm going to have a zoom meeting to help you uh, plan ahead for your new school year so make sure that you look at the description down below if you have any other possible questions that come to your mind just let me know when i will be happy to assist you have a great day bye